Hey world, what's good? It's your boy LG and I'm back with another video and as you can see we're going to be talking about League of Maidens. Uh, just wanted to do a my honest review and just show y'all how the gameplay works and some of the things that I do uh, you know when I play the game. Um, now for those who don't know or maybe kind of maybe heard the game and not really sure about what it is it is a action RPG okay um, kind of in the style of like DC Universe Online uh, you know with some things like Diablo maybe a little bit of Smite mixed in um, stuff like that now it is currently a single player uh, action game all right uh, and it's uh, free to play all right and you can go in there customize your character and whatnot and what have you uh the draw of course is with attractive women in the game all right um uh, this is a uh, version 1.5 which just recently updated with the, as in as of this recording i want to say well a couple of days ago guys but before we go any further i wanted to get into the elephant in the room and that is the the reviews um now, one of the reasons why a lot of people saw this and they saw it and they saw the reviews and they got turned off by it. And this is one of those cases where I feel like the reviews are a little bit far fetched. And I, I feel like this is uh, basically an attack against, uh, you know, having, you know, attractive women in video games. And. A lot of people are just, I, I hate when people do this stuff and start making up lies. Like a lot of this is point one, um, barely played the game, point one hours on, you know, on record. Uh, you know, some of these people have got it for free and they, you know, and all of that. But if you guys notice something, like somebody even created a YouTube channel for this video. That's the crazy thing about it. One of the biggest things that I, I want to... <laughs> get um get in to y'all's head that is this is not a uh bitcoin miner at all okay totally not a bitcoin miner um whoever said this was just truly reaching and also um this is a game is it's also not a porn game okay it's not it's not uh it's not one of those games that you can play on one hand. Um, it is an action RPG with hella fan service. Now, yes, this game is free to play. Okay. And as with any free to play game, um, there are some monetization things in it. Um, you know, the company's got to make money somehow. Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand why people are expecting everything for free uh for a free to play game i mean if they do give it to you for free i mean that's cool but the, the sense of entitlement from some people um it, it's just it's ridiculous it, it's it's utter stupidity and it if you don't like seeing sexy women in games go play another game like the last of us 2 okay you'll probably love that but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We are going to start with the storyline of the game and the opening sequence. And uh, let's get into it. Humans. Their thirst and greed for power knows no limits. What is it? A source of immense power. If we can harness the energy from the stone, the United Nations can fight off any enemy, foreign or domestic. But power can be so corruptible. The world will be ours to command. Yes! We're under attack! Freedom City is under attack! Retreat! We can't hold them off! We need backup! No, no, we need backup! They have not yet realized their use of the shards will bring about their damnation. Oh, what's this? Humans capable of retaining the power of the shards within their puny shells. Foolish humans. The shards that make up the creation stone are merely a housing to contain the destroyers. Unleashed, they will seek to find their new hosts. And when they do, 
They will live to serve me, Atonia. The world will be mine, and no one will be left to stand in my way. That is the basic gist of the story so far. Once again, um, also I forgot to mention that this game is in development. Uh, still, uh, it's in alpha, early access, so there are uh, a few bugs. All right, there we go. There are uh, a few bugs and uh, things that can be present, but um, I just wanted to show y'all what what everything looks like so far. As you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of things going on right now. Um, as with any free to play game, there's a whole bunch of <laughs> items and you know this kind of reminds me of a mobile game a little bit um oh it looks like we got some stuff in the costume shop let's see at the costume shop and i'll come back to this later uh good job congratulations all right now um once again there's a lot of different things that's in the paywall uh, matter of fact, let me. Matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and dress that real quick. The costume shop. Um, this is where you get a lot of your costumes, uh, and this is where you can get the costumes. And if you need diamonds, you can get the in, uh, special premium currency. Uh, get all of the diamonds, all of that stuff, if you guys uh, so desire. All right. Uh, for those that complained about it. To be fair, it like I said, it's a free-to-play game. You really don't have to get any cosmetics uh, in order to enjoy the game. Um, like I said, I did it because I wanted to support, and like I said, I enjoyed the game. One of the things that I do when I get started is, since I have the premium account, uh, I click here, and the premium accounts it gives me a hundred gold. No, 10,000 gold, excuse me. 10,000 gold and 1,000 gems. Um, and this, this currency right here, all of this currency is for uh, in-game, you know, stuff used in-game. This, these, these are both their, this, the coins and the, and the uh, gems or shards uh, can be used for, like, leveling up your characters, uh, you know, buying uh, different skills and all of that stuff, which we'll get into a little bit later. And the the, the diamonds are premium currency, which you pay with real in world, uh, real world money. Excuse me. All right. So what happens when you create when you first start the game? You get to pick uh, your difficulty level, and uh, you pick a faction, the Divinian. Those are the good guys, supposedly, and the Netherian. The warrior. Such lovely. They are, uh, they're like the evil faction. Right now, the factions have no effect on the story right now. So, um, just, just keep that in mind for those that get the game. There are five classes right now. You have the warrior. The tank. You have the tank. The assassin. The healer. And the sorceress. All right. Uh, my main is an assassin. Okay, and we're gonna go back to my main character anyway because I want to do the uh, dailies and stuff like that and knock that out. But I just want to give you guys an idea of how things work here. The sorcerer and the healer are a little bit hard to play for what I'm understanding, but uh, just take some time to get used to. All right, now, uh, when you first get into the game, you start with uh, presets. It gives you an option to uh, mess with presets here. Uh, so you can pick face presets, like something like this. Oh. And it's, oh, stuff like that. Let's see, let's play with this one. You got your body presets. Uh, of course, you can you know, boob them out, make them slender. As you can see, there is a whole lot of options here <laughs> uh, for everything here, starting with the face. So let's zoom in a bit if we can. And one thing I will say um, that I like how the, the models look, the models look amazing 
for this to be a for this to be a, uh, a alpha game this game looks really good and it, it looks amazing all right so face shape number three you can do here here as you can see you can do everything from the face here let's do upper face height here depth here there you know pretty much everything you need to make your waifu from the face then we got the body and the breast size of course that's one of the uh, of course one of the main appeals of the game is you can make the breast sizes breast bot and the butt size all of that the same like all of whatever you want it to be you can make the race skins and um they got things whatever you unlock is at the top now which is a good feature that they added let's see you can even do things like hair hairstyles change the hair up some of these you can actually unlock in game okay um just you know some of these ones you can unlock in game some of these cosmetics um, are unlocked via regular gameplay or through uh, other means which I will show you guys in a bit Head gear some of the, a lot of this headgear I have unlocked through uh, through the roulette wheel which is uh, something I, I'm gonna show you guys and also if you just don't know what to do uh, with your character you can go to the beauty album here you can apply blueprints from the top staff picks the latest blueprints um, you know the latest blueprints and stuff like that and uh, the latest blueprints is stuff that other people have uh, uploaded for people to share uh, and this also goes for scenes and poses which we'll get into that a little bit later I can apply this bad boy here Yes, it's gonna get all the values. That's fine. Alright, so this is my warrior here. Once you're done with everything, uh, you can change the animations, change the idle pose. We'll go with something like this. You can even add a uh, aura effects since you are since I made them plus I can add aura effects if I want stuff like this, which I think is pretty cool. But we're not going to do that right now. It's going to hit creation complete, and we're going to be done here. Let's go ahead and get that. Oop. Go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. I'm going to go back to my main count here back here to my main to my main assassin Kimare Nobara which translates into the bloody rose right now one of the things I do when I get into the game for the day is I check my my little mail here uh, I get double the loot uh, since I'm part of the Maiden Plus. I get double uh, loot crates, so I'm just gonna get these epic crates out the way. Um, here, get my daily reward. Uh, we're gonna go here. Headgear, already got it, so it's gonna grind it for gold. Cool. All right, since I got four crates here. And uh, since we're here, we're going to do the time stop reward in a second here. But before we do, I'm going to look at my daily challenges. Uh, use one XP ticket during gameplay. Kill three foul enemies. Cleanse two totems. Oh, boy. Now, one of the things that's uh, that's unique about this game is that there's uh, certain rewards that, that happen on a regular interval basis. These are called uh, time stop rewards. So every 15 minutes, you get to... Uh, spin this wheel this roulette wheel and where if it lands on the items you get certain things right so let's go ahead and spin the wheel all right 
first one's one, and we get uh, treasure number one. And uh, I will explain what that does in a minute. Man, RNG is not gonna like me today. Well, oh well. Come back in 15 minutes, right? Well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the storage here. And, and this is one of the first things that I want to talk about that I did not like. Um, the fact that I had to pay for uh, storage was something that I didn't, that I, I wish that they kind of did a better job with. That's definitely one thing I, I wish they could change if possible. Um, like I said, I understand, you know, you're trying to get what you, you know, trying to get that money, but uh, the fact that I had to pay for extra storage was not, not it. <laughs> All right, stick to these bad boys. Got another treasure. And um, the treasure in game is just something that you can sell for in game gold. Uh, you have different levels of valuables, and uh, those, va the, those valuables are the ones you, you sell for gold. Uh, gemstones sell for gold gift box that's stuff, stuff that you give to the uh, to the uh, the guys running around in the letter I don't know what that's for uh, epic crates is normally which will get you the other the main things like um, different head pieces uh, different desktop art all of that stuff so let's see what we get we got headgear one I think I already got that so that's gold for me New headgear. Excellent. All right. Well, we got a new headgear with Halo. Cool. All right. Go ahead and start knocking out these challenges. Uh, um, also, if you guys notice, I have a pet here. Um, that's something that's also that's in game that you pay for. That's something I would recommend because um, what the pet does, it makes the looting. Um, easier for you to deal with another thing I normally do here is I normally take the time to do the um, do these attack trainings attack training station get that? these attack and defense training stations and with these stations um, it powers it gives you a small little boost um, that amounts up over time the more you do them so it's basically it's AFK not doing anything uh, so I just sit here and I wait and uh, once we wait you know get everything give me enough time to look at whatever else I need to do and all that stuff um, so I can check the daily challenges I got one of those there we go all right and of course, we're going to get into some actual gameplay in a minute, but I want to knock these out so that way, you know, when we go out to the world, we can be a little bit more buff. You feel me? All right. That's another daily challenge for us. Also, one of the things um that they changed up in this patch is, uh, is the Guardian level and your Awakening level is now on the top left of your screen, so that way you can see... Um, you can see you know what level you are now there's two different types of levels the guardian level is your account level okay that is the the level of your overall account um, the awakening level is the level of your current maiden that you're playing okay so you can be guardian level 15 and still have a maiden that's level one Excellent. All right now that we got that out the way Get that. Hey there, Alright, so you see these guys walking around. Let's go ahead and give them this gift box. Um, there hasn't so far there hasn't been any anything of use for it yet, so I you know. Cause once again, this game once again reminding y'all, this game is still an alpha. Um, so there's a whole lot of things that still need to be fixed. Um, and there's things that just need to be a little bit more cohesive. And now, like I said, we're just doing a lot of, you know, getting stuff ready, uh, just to, you know, to kind of buff yourself up throughout the day, um, type stuff. Um, in this game, there are three islands, um, two main ones and one like side island. 
um the main uh overworld is this is what well, this is your hub world but the main world is freedom city um that's where you're going to be spending most of your time at that's where a lot of uh the beginning missions start uh you're going to be starting at freedom city it's uh pretty solid uh pretty solid starting place all right get out the way you have two shops right here before you leave and you also have other shops right here these are your cape vendors they you can purchase capes from them if you don't want to unlock them this is the general shop the general shop which gives you the basic items uh your hp potions flash shield potions flash stam uh, stamina potion uh different tickets uh feed for your pet and also even fishing uh and also uh feral essence which it says it reduces the spawn times oh reduces the mob respawn time by 50 percent so uh it makes them spawn faster i believe if i if memory serves me correctly and this is the gear shop, gear shop. now this right here is unless you're able to farm for stuff it's hella expensive all right hella expensive and before we go in out to the freedom city we uh want to show you guys the inventory which inventory looks like here you have different sections for your inventory you have your valuables uh you have your gear you have your miscellaneous stuff and your quest related items then of course you have your gear stats your gear forge which uh you have to buy uh, a portable forge and a portable grinder uh, in game uh, this is not not with real world currency but it has to be done in game uh, and also this is where you can uh, apply your mods that you get for your gun uh, you start out with one and then you have to buy the uh, upgrades like this and that's by a hundred thousand uh, for a per upgrade slot all right uh, also with your inventory you have your loadout this is the loadout screen here uh, if you hit the Y button by default it brings this up you have your mouse one skill that's your um, your melee skill uh, this is what comes with your uh, for assassin is shadow dancer uh, and then your mouse two skill which is your aiming for uh, your your weapons here uh, the assassin comes with two class uh, assassin I want to say assassins, tanks, and uh, warriors have two two guns: the assault rifle and a specialty weapon. Uh, the assassin comes with the assault rifle and the sniper rifle. Uh, the shotgun you get the shotgun with the warrior, I believe, and the tank you get the rocket launcher. If I got the order mixed up, let me know in the comments below. Uh, your Q skill. This is uh, your skill number one. Uh, this is the one that's default with the um, with the assassin class. Now, um, if you notice that everything is red uh, except for these two, these are green. This is the ink. These are in class skills. That means you can buy these uh, for. Uh, I wanted to unlock it. I can pay two hundred uh, two hundred thousand. Uh, gold coins but if I wanted to get something like say the large projectile unlock it I would have to pay 400,000 coins and I think it would be double for me to upgrade it throughout its regular uh, process the max you can get is level is 15 levels so as you can see I'm level 7 here uh, level uh, 7 on the E skill which this is the only E skill that's available for this class and the R skill, uh, force field is available, less circles available, but you start with lightning speed. Uh, lightning speed, to be honest, is kind of useless. Um, unless you want to run uh, run really, really fast like Sonic the Hedgehog, be my guest. All right, cool. But um, blessed circle is the one that I definitely recommend that you should get if you can of upgrading one of the problems that uh, a lot of people were like kind of turned off by with the game is that there are certain things that uh you can that you have to get in game or that you can uh have, have to pay for how everything is hidden through microtransactions um this game is definitely 
grindy. Um, the biggest one of the problems that I don't like about this game um, is is the the drop rate, um, especially for when you go into stronghold item uh, stronghold bosses. Uh, some of the drop rates are a little little lacking. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, now I'm, that's not me asking for handouts. It's just me saying that hey, some of the some of the drops like one drop is like um, matter of fact, and I'll show you guys when we get to the next next uh screen but there is literally one a uh, couple of boss drops that are 0.5 percent drop rate you feel me and so with me i can do the boss 10 times but with me doing 10 boss runs at a 0.5 percent chance like yeah i don't know if it's worth it now Here in Freedom City, and one of my things here, you guys take a look as we fly into the city. Uh, this is what the HUD looks like. Um, they currently made some changes to how the HUD works. Um, you have here is your uh, it matches with your. Uh, your XP for your uh, awakening level and then you also have uh, quick buttons for the gear inventory and your skills your stamina meter right here this is your health and that is your MP um, one of the recent changes that I uh, definitely can say that I like is they made it to where you have uh, a dash move everybody has a, a dash move that they can use and with the dash move, it used to take MP. Now it takes stamina. Alright. So if I dash, you double tap W, A, S, and D to move around. Like that. Alright, let's kill 15 filth enemies. Alright, so uh, when you go around the city, there are certain people that can hand you quests. Alright, let's use the E. My E is so strong, I can just melt people. All right. So these enemies are fairly easy. Good place to warm up, level up. Right. And as you can see, my pet is doing the work right now, picking up all the items for me. That's my cue. Now the thing about the Q, uh, my Q ability is I can aim with my mouse, and when I aim with my mouse, it'll move. Once it finishes cooling down, yeah. Watch this. Yeah. yes, you saw it move a little bit, but it was already, it was already uh, about to hit the floor. Just using this for range here. Um, so one of the other changes that they did was the change to the uh, the interim play system. A lot of people were confused uh, about how the interim system worked, and they changed it now to a uh, playtime buff. All right. Yeah. So over time, you get I guess it, it was supposed to be the longer you play, the more uh, the more of a buff you get, basically. And once I figured it out at first, it was it was understandable. You know what I'm saying? I got it. But a lot of people were complaining, and that's why they uh, changed it. I got uh, foul enemies. Okay. First, let's go find this. Uh, gotta find these totems right quick. And uh, one of the ways that you can uh, let me reload my weapon. Uh, your weapon here, like I said, with this, um, it's it reload. The clip is basically it's like a full thirty-two bullets here. All right, so I just got my playtime buff. Caught reloading. Ah. All right, that symbol that is a stronghold, which I will probably do one for. Uh, Posterity's sake. 
Yeah, you can. I forgot to mention you can also fly in this game too. On hold, real quick. Now, um, if you mentioned earlier, if you saw like a hazard looking symbol, that is what is called a stronghold in this game. And with these strongholds, uh, you can face a plethora of monsters in each room. And your objective is basically to clear each room before you move on to the next one. Feel me? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to do it. All right. All right, so what I just used was what they call a death invitation. It makes the enemy stronger in the dungeon, okay? So, normally, so everything is level would have been level one. I made everything level 10. So, instead of having to, uh, You know, just breeze through the enemies. Yeah, it would have been, would have been too easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. All right. And then also too, while we're in here, see, you get to face the fire while we're in here. Got another playtime buff. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Alrighty. And for those that's wondering what the playtime buff does, it it gives you a quick little buff of your of your character. So it's imperative that you guys take the time like I mentioned earlier to upgrade your skills and you'll get that with the drops that you know with the enemy drops in the world um, so that that was the other thing too that a lot of people were getting confused because they saw the, the buffs that they were getting and thought that oh well because I leave now all of a sudden I'm level one again and it was just that those buffs were temporary and a lot of people weren't paying. I think a lot of people didn't pay that any attention. And that, that wasn't on the company's fault. I think it was just on the, the player fault, really. All right. Now we're going to go to the boss of this war, of this, this uh, stronghold. Can't talk right now. And uh, it is the Seraph Demon. Also, too, one of these one of the uh, beautiful things about this mode is a... Uh, I forgot what they call this mode, the motion, uh, motion 3D mode. And in this mode, you can do so much with it. You can set up for screenshots. Um, that's also one of the uh, draws of this game is the ability to, uh, you know, in essence, pause the game and, you know, get your screenshots. And that's how you kind of get the screenshots that the community sees. Uh, you know, this is a dope little, dope little picture here, so. All right, let's do this. How are we gonna do this? Let's go. There we go. What? Hello? How does she kill me? All right. Well, you can see what happens when you when they kill you. You hit these death contracts, right? So, I use one until you buy them all up, and then you start using your shards. All right. Let's go to here. Gonna play around here. Oh, 
It's a good thing they put iframes on that because that sure did need it. Wow. Okay, game. I'm not doing this right at all. But oh well. Run. Run! Right. Okay, sure. Yo, what, what? Hello? Nope. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. I'm damn near dead. <laughs> Good job. All right. Hold up. Let me get my life back. Let me see. Here. Oh. All right. So when you be beat these bosses, you get a drop here from the atonement. Uh, you get basically a atonement drop. So, as I mentioned earlier, I happened to get the gauntlet, which was a 0.5% drop. Everything else is a 1.5%, 1% drop. So, most of it is just RNG right now at this point. And, of course, I don't get anything. That's alright. That's alright. So, of course, with me, you could do this up to 10 times in a day. So, like I said, this game is really um, grindy. You know what I'm saying? So it encourages you to to keep playing and you know to keep grinding and you know then just maybe you can get what you want, you know, type deal. Now, um, for those that's wondering, um, these light fragments here, uh, this is what you use to level up your awakening, the the awakening level in your character. So I'm gonna use all eight of those here. Uh, course it didn't fully level me up but it did put a nice little chunk on everything and this is like I said a basic gameplay loop you know how everything goes and uh, let's do this and I'm gonna go back out to the world because I got a couple more dailies I gotta do and um, I figured we'd go ahead and knock them out but so far, I definitely think that this game shows promise, and um, it's definitely something that I find uh, enjoyable. Um, it, it's it's one of those games where it, it's not it, it's it's fan service, but it's like it, it's not like something like I mentioned before, where you can just play the game on one hand type thing. Um, you know. It, of course, the characters are definitely, uh, you know, definitely attractive, sexy, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I definitely have no issue with having, uh, you know, sexy women in video games. I mean, that's something that's been around for, for, you know, since gaming could, you know, could house such things. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and not only that, it's just, you know, I guess a lot of people fail to understand that. In most cases, you know, like it's like with word of mouth, sex sales, you know, uh, and you know, a lot of people 
would like to see attractive women in the video games right? and attractive men too but it's just this this what's been going on in society is something that I don't necessarily agree with this 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 anti this problem with having sexy women in video games is to me it just stems from a you know a very big insecurity from a lot of these people um and you know they're they're looking trying to trying to control stuff that really doesn't even need to be controlled you know but like I said, that's probably another video for another day, but I just wanted to, you know, put that out there, I guess. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look for this other totem. If we can find this other totem, that would be, you know, really quick, that would be nice. Okay, anyway, as you were saying, there it goes. All right, we found it. Right, while we're here, we get to go to another shop. That's another thing that they need to fix too. Like I notice every time after I uh, go to a shop or, or finish with a shop, the camera freezes, and I think that's something that they need to fix. All right, and normally when you go out here in Freedom City, there's a shop out here. Um, this is a grinder. This is what you can use to grind stuff into. Uh, either gold light cubes or dark cubes and it can be leveled up okay uh, a portable grinder does a trick anyway and then there's a like I said there's a forge but let's go ahead and find the bombers here get this material right here this is what you're gonna need for uh, questing You're gonna need to uh, basically upgrade your items, so. Yeah. It's good to get these because. Get extra items here. Alright. I think we're close. Yep, there we go. Kill 10 bombers. Alright. Yeah. 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 Got that out the way. This that sucks. Oh, we're gonna play time about that bad boy.
I don't even know how many I killed yet. Oh boy. See how many I got. I need one more. Never fails. It never fails. I tell you, never fails. Oh, yep, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. All right, I got all my dailies for the day. I am good. All right. Now, if you guys notice too, there's a server. They notice a server threat level. Um, that is uh where the server boss is for the both worlds. Uh, there's a server boss, and um, I don't know. I was gonna show it, but it since it resets in such a long time, I don't think I feel like waiting that long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That make the video longer to record. So not gonna do all that. Just wanted to get the basics out the way for you guys. And uh, since I got all my dailies out the way, let's go ahead and claim everything for the day. All right. All right. And then once you do your daily challenge, you see the weekly challenges light up here. Then you get to ones on Wednesday. All right. All right. And then once you finish out for the whole week, uh, you get to pick one of these rewards. Definitely, it's actually pretty good. So, uh, and since I got that, I open up a crate. <laughs> open up a crate here. Good job. Oh, got a headgear. Nice. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the. Uh, we're gonna go to Necropolis Desert. It's gonna show you guys the other place. Santonia Islands is really just a. Like a little, not I wouldn't say not important place. It's kind of like a side mission place right now. Um, there's also other things that I haven't uh, got a chance to show you guys yet, but there is. I've also done a little bit of a uh, AFK fishing. Um, so basically, with the fishing, what you can do is uh, you get your fishing pole and you get uh, or a rod and permit and some bait, and you get enough bait. The permits last for an hour. And so you get like seven, eight of the permits. You can leave the game running uh, on low priority settings, and you can come back with possibly a lot of in-game currency. Um, all right, we are here in the Acropolis Desert. Uh, what I'll do is I will do a stronghold for you guys, um, and I'm going to. Uh, wrap up today's video for you I feel like it's already already long enough you know all right uh, of course there's a few stuff here all right oh he's still standing Now these guys in the desert do not play. You got to make sure you're leveled up <laughs> in the desert, man, because these dudes do not play at all. You feel me? All right. So this is just a quick little run. I want to show with you guys. That so way you guys can see the difference here. Perfect. Right. Ooh, scavengers, let's go. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it, okay? I'm not complaining. All 
Oh, wait. Oh boy, I do not like these creepers. I think these are worse than the Minecraft creepers. Let's see what we Take that and I will wait. Person, I will. Wait. Good job. There we go. So, the only way the main way you can get ammo is uh, you can buy some from a vendor or you get them through the boxes. Um, Getting ammo through a vendor is the least I wouldn't recommend. So just giving you a heads up, you know, just pop open a few boxes, you'll get the ammo you need, along with other goodies and treasure. So this is the boss of the uh, Necropolis Desert stronghold. Her name is Goddess Isis. Just wanted to show y'all a little bit her. See, he's a big one. All right, do it. All right, all right. This one we're going to have to play is smart. Just running around. Trying to kite these bad boys. Goody, I got enough time to do this. Are you sweet, you Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I love it. I love how they just move that instead of dashing until instead of using MP on the dash, like I mentioned earlier, they got it on stamina, and it is amazing. Alright. Let's go. 
Alright, that was easy enough. We didn't die that time. Alright, let's see what drops we get Good job. from here. Alright, so we beat Isis. Hopefully we get some good drops. We see what we need here. And I didn't get nothing good. Well, darn. Oh well. Maybe try again next time, huh? <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna go is we're gonna take some of these and we're gonna go into the inventory. And the cubes that you get, since I have tier two, um, this is going to be, uh, it uses the dark cube tier two cubes right here. It's gonna use two of those. Uh, tier one items use one of the tier, one, of the tier one uh, dark cubes. And then there's tier three dark cubes, which I'm not sure how to get yet, so. Uh, I'm just gonna be real with y'all. All right. Um, when you do this, there's a fail stack. So every five times, um, you're guaranteed uh, a row a, a free success rate. So normally, when you first start the success rate, it's like 50, 60 percent. Uh, and the more you do it, the the more uh, the lower the success rate is. Uh, up until that fifth time, then it's guaranteed. Now, um, the items go from tier one, the gear you get is tier one, tier two, tier three, and then I think there's ascension gear. Um, and the way this goes is it goes from all the way up to 14, and then it goes into the next tier. So once I get this to nine, I'm gonna do this, this success rate, it's gonna become plus 10, then I can keep going and it's gonna make it plus uh, plus 11, plus 12, plus 13, plus 14, and then instead of plus 15, it's going to upgrade it into the next tier. Alright? So, 15% success rate. Of course, it failed. It's going to take two more. No. Success rate's pretty low, so. If it does happen, it's cool. Of course your gear gives you different um different stats the stats that they give you uh your primary stats is one and then but certain stat i think because uh, i think your for example the gauntlet gives you an attack is your primary but the secondary stat is rng so you know you may get the same and uh, another tier two gauntlet but like the secondary stat may not be the same as with the current stats you have now it may be health when you may not need it so crit is definitely something that's important especially for assassins so that's one of the things that, that i uh look out for now this part right here is the other mode that's featured in the uh in the game uh it's also free to play it is the pose 3d mode um this is where you can take your character um and you can Pose, make them pose in any way and you can use it for uh, making screenshots uh, and also you can share your scenes 
uh, across the board. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of my uh, couple of my scenes that I have. So you can do all of these different things with it. So you can see I have my characters posed in, in a certain pose. You can edit the pose however you like. Uh, you can move their hands, their all their joints. You can move them, rotate them, and scale them uh, to make them big, small. Do pretty much whatever. So let me show you. And also, you can add things like props. You know, certain props you can add here, like soldiers and stuff like that. And then you can also add like scenes, studios, stuff like that. Uh, but this is what one of the action shots I have looks like. It looks like a little, you know, a little action pose. You know, you see, it looks familiar, right? See, see, it's not completed. But I uh, just wanted to share this. Yeah, as you can see, we get the whole squad here. You know, looking like something out of a somebody mentioned. It, it looks like a comic book when I streamed this on Twitch. So yeah, stuff like this. Um, some of the poses you can. Like for example, I can take her, I can rotate, I can move up, down, you know, backwards, forwards, all of that. Sideways, I can scale, all that good stuff. So, um, and then you can replace it with any character that you have or any character, any blueprint from any blueprint that's, uh, you know, once again, using the blueprints from everybody else, you know. For those that like to be creative, um, this you would definitely love this mode. And I spent <laughs> hours, you know, trying to get this to look right, and you know, and I, I definitely enjoyed myself and uh, had fun. And of course, like I said, there's other adult scenes, but we're not going to get into that right now. All right, well, um, that's it, pretty much it for how how the game works right now. Um, overall the game i enjoyed the game uh shout out once again to maiden gaming for uh overall solid work um of course it's not completed by a long shot this game is once again still an alpha and for it to be an alpha and by people by only three people <laughs> that made this game um i think it's pretty good the the combat um needs a little bit of work uh some you know some extra things to give a polish like for example i think the assassin could afford to use have some air attacks you know um i honestly think that the assassin could have like better use of her, uh, her air attacks maybe she could be able to do her uh q ability in air uh, along with her e um you know just a few just a few more things and you know make the certain the classes stand out and make you want to select that class a little bit more other than just uh the abilities and stuff like that um this game is definitely relying on reliant on abilities then also another positive that i like is the community so far um for those that have take the time took in the time to you know talk in discord uh and or chat in discord you for me they've been very helpful and since i have the maiden plus um, I'm able to get into a voice chat and talk with other people that have played the game and you know they they sit up there and they literally grind the game and it is so much you know so much fun it was just you know cool talking with other people that had some common sense and didn't mind seeing sexy women in games and wasn't really you know tripping over you know a pair of titties in, in video games but um overall uh, definitely I will say it's worth a shot um, but like I tell you guys, keep in mind the game is still in early access. This game is still in alpha. Um, as such, there will be uh, some bugs. Uh, now, me personally, I didn't come across a lot of bugs. And I did. Most of them were fixed by easy uh, resetting of the game. And of course, if it's, you know, you can also report your bugs over to Maiden Gaming and they will get to you as soon as they possibly can. Overall, like I said, I think it's it's worth you playing. You don't have to play pay for anything if you don't want to. Um, most of what you're paying for is the cosmetics, uh, and except for like I said, except for the storage thing, 
Uh, well, if you guys got any questions, feel free to leave below. Um, look forward to hearing you guys' feedback. I know it's probably a bit of a long video, but I just wanted to cover as much as I could. All right. And if I miss anything, please let me know. That's going to be it for me. Um, you guys follow me on all my social media below. I'm going to be doing more videos. If you guys want to see more videos like this, music, vlogs, gaming, and also some real talk conversation. And um, I'll be catching you guys on the next time. Peace and God bless. The Dynasty.